what's going guys, it's Deathmark here. Today we're going to be talking about some rather interesting information concerning Call of Duty Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Now, as you guys can see from Treyarch Studios' official Twitter or X account, uh, basically they've basically mentioned uh, concerning the feedback that we've provided during the beta period about the size of the multiplayer maps coming to launch. So for those curious about the map size variety at launch, the majority of Black Ops 6 Core 66 maps are medium sized, similar in size to Raid or Summit. There were 16 multiplayer maps at launch, which are broken down by size below. So there are four strike maps, there's one, two, three, four small maps, and the rest are medium. So the medium maps include Vault, Protocol, Low Town, Red Card, Fokuta, Skyline, Rewind, and Scud. Small maps are Subsonic, Payback, Babylon, and Derelict. And the strike maps, Warhead, Pit, Gala, and Stakeout. Now, don't forget, guys, we did uh, get some early access onto some of these mul uh, these multiplayer maps. So the ones we got to uh, play on during the uh, beta, which were Protocol, but we didn't play that on a 66 map per se. It was actually used as the uh, training course map. <coughs> so we did get a bit of an idea of what to expect for that map. Um, another map we played on was Skyline which was probably the more fan favourite map out of the ones that we played, I guess. Uh, Rewind, I'm surprised I didn't put that down as a large map, to be quite honest with you, but um, but Rewind, yeah, it's good for snipers, guys, to be honest with you, but um, very, very interesting there. Scud, uh, again, good for snipers as well. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty good map. I'm not exactly sure how I really feel about that one, um, so that's really interesting. Uh, the other ones we played on were Babylon, which was, kind of, I guess you could say, kind of like the nuke town, if you will, of um, Black Ops 6 multiplayer at the moment. And Derelict. Uh, that's another good map. Um, all sorts of train crashes all over the place. Derailed trains, very, very interesting. Um, the three strike maps that we got to play during the uh, beta as well were Pit, Gala, and Stakeout. Now... Warhead um, appears to have been a renaming of a multiplayer map which we suspected may be related to Sandhouse. So we don't know at this present moment in time whether it's a, a take on what happened with Grand Prix during Modern Warfare 2, renaming that into a different name. I think they did manage to change that at one point. Uh, so it could potentially maybe something to do with like copyright or what happened with like Grand Prix in Modern Warfare 2. Or have they scrapped the map entirely? And replaced it with something else. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, so Warhead's going to be a strike map as well. Uh, Stakeout, don't forget, was only accessible during 2v2 gunfight. Uh, during weekend 2 of the beta. So that's very interesting. I can hear what you guys have some opinions of this in the comments box down below. We also got some um, little fly-throughs here of the, uh, the maps that we did not get to play during the uh, beta. So... Let me know which one is your favourite of these down in the comments box down below. But um, some very, very interesting maps here. Um, but it's really interesting to see how these play out. Uh, Payback, I think, might be the map that might be used for Liberty Falls um, in the zombie storyline. but uh, Although maybe the campaign storyline in actual fact, but uh, that's very interesting. Uh, Fakuta. Um, I think this uh, is like maybe a, like a larger version of Pit, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. Protocol, like I say, guys, is the training map that we got to uh, use during the training period in the Black Ops 6 multiplayer beta. Low Town. Um, and then another interesting map there, guys. Let me know again which one is your favourite down in the comments box down below. Uh, but just here, I think I may have got some further information on these maps. So as you guys can see, uh, Sandhouse, which is kind of like the miniature version of Nuketown, has actually been renamed to Warhead in Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Now, this is the map that I think might be a take of one of the POIs of the new Warzone map that we're going to be getting during Season 1 called Area 99. So, that is very interesting. Um, but keen to hear what you guys' views and opinions are of this in the comments box down below. Can you tell what you guys' views and opinions are of this rather interesting map? Um, so we're not getting the original version of Nuketown, uh, so to speak. However, we'll be getting what appears to be a version of Nuketown that has been covered over by dust or sand 
or dirt. Very, very interesting there. Um, also, it has been announced by somebody representing Activision or Call of Duty themselves that XP tokens will not transfer to Black Ops 6. All rank weapon or battle pass XP tokens will be usable in Warzone, concerning Season 1 if you will, but will not be in Black Ops 6 multiplayer or zombies. So, bear that in mind guys, uh, where you're wondering where all your XP tokens have gone. None of the ones, you won't be able to use them in multiplayer or zombies, but you will be able to use them in Warzone when uh, Area 99 releases. So that's very interesting there guys. Let me know what you guys' views and opinions are of this in the comments box down below. Also, you will receive a rather interesting email with all of your beta stats. Uh, for those who actually participated in the beta uh, with whatever email address is associated with the Activision account. So as you guys can see, these are all the stats that I managed to accrue over the process of the beta. Let me know what you guys' stats are in the comments box down below. Can you see what those are? Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.